All right, what's going on, buddy? It's Tech Day here. Hey, welcome back to another video. So, uh, before we begin, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10k. Thank you all for the support recently. Um, we're really close to 6k. So, if you want to go uh, just sub real quick, I'd truly appreciate it. Link to my Discord server is down in the description below. I want to start getting more active in there. I'll, but you also get notified whenever I post. And uh, also going to start hosting some dev product giveaways in there. So, if you want to just go ahead and join that, you know, go for it. But um, without further ado, I'm going to just get straight into this. Not waste any time. So yeah. All right. So the type shells released. Really, so there's probably a lot of new players to this game, and I don't know if anyone's made a vid like this yet. If, maybe someone has, probably. But uh, I feel like going back over the skill trees is something that needs to be done. I don't know. Last time I saw a skill tree video was a while ago. Oh, what's up? Like the last video I've seen on a skill tree was I'm like at the initial type shell release when a CC player released a skill tree thing. But I feel like I should just give my opinions on it right now. So uh, yeah. All right, so let's start off with the first one, which is Hakuda. Hakuda is, was deemed probably the most overpowered skill tree that can, like, original type soul, not under Cetra's ownership, which Hakuda was. Hakuda is, like, a very, was very, very, very powerful. It, it kind of got gutted, if you couldn't tell. Or at, at least to Hakuda players, it got gutted. But, uh, they, they probably, I think they balanced it pretty well. But, um... It needs to be maybe tweaked a little bit, buff a tiny bit more because it's a little bit underpowered. But besides that, um, Hakuda is a, a pretty good tree. It's for those players who want to get up and close, do a bunch of air combos, ABA type combos, Horror Reach, Spine Ren, Negation, Pulse. Uh, a lot of those moves you're going to be using, Catching Dragon. And then plus the skill box moves, which the two you probably want, in my opinion, are going to be Shori and Death Flare. Um, Shori is a pretty much TP combo starter move. I don't know if you can combo extend with it, but it's a, it's a really, really good starter. Probably one of, it's probably the best skill box for all of Hakuda. And then Death Flare has two forms, either the ground form where you have a hyper armor stomp and the air form, which is just like Tor reach or, uh, uh, pulse or negation. It keeps you in air time and it does damage. So for Hakuda, again, it's for those people who want to get up and close. The problem with Hakuda, in my opinion, right now, is trying to actually get to your opponent without them either canceling your move or just simply blocking your move, let alone once you do actually land a combo. Uh, if you land literally all of your moves, you'll probably do a bar and a half, but there's a lot of moves that can just be easily blocked or parried if you know how to play the game. Uh, so for skilled players who know how to uh, fight against Hakuda, it, like in ranked it's not going to be fun for you because either they're just going to run spam range moves or like speed moves uh or two they're just going to parry you mid combo and then start their combo so all in all hakuda is a decent skill tree but for new players i probably wouldn't recommend it unless you just want to and you want to punch people then go for it the next is kendo now kendo is probably one of the best skill trees i put it in top two probably number two <coughs> People can argue that it's one if they like, but personally, I'm not a kendo person. I don't know. I've never really liked kendo. Um, I truly haven't given gotten the time to like actually use it and play around with it. It's probably why I don't like it. But uh, kendo, I'd say, is like your most like simple, like basic skill tree, right there with Hakuda. I feel like those two are like the most like basic skill trees you can get. Uh, kendo is gonna be your average sword skill uh, tree. Moves like Mortal Ties, Flower Petals, Flower Passage, Delay Crossing, Split, and Vertical, Rising Swallow, or Powering Slash. You're going to be using most of those moves. Now, Kendo only really shines when you do have skill boxes for it. I think once you actually do get to uh, Flower Petals, it, it's it's a great skill tree. Um, but I feel like early game moves like Thrust, Tsukiwari, set this, this, uh, this move. Is actually pretty good by section is kind of mid uh rising swell is pretty good don't see many people using it i don't know i'm not a really kendo player but it's your average sword skills like you have range moves but you also have close range moves so it's like the hybrid between being you know arranged and moves like flower petals can get you like close to the enemy easily easily same with flower passage vertical down and split gate are really good when using close up if you can land both of them They'll do about a bar damage. Mortal Ties. It's a great move for closing distance. You kind of just stun them. You create like a little bind in the air. One connected to you, one connected to the player or your enemy. And they can't heal. And I don't think they can really reach any either. 
Uh, they might have some other debuffs, but... Yeah, heal and reduce his HP packs by 50%. All in all, I think if you want to try Kendo, go for it. It's probably the most, like, beginner-friendly um, moveset if you want to learn it early on. I actually haven't taken the time to actually learn how to use Kendo, which is just funny. But, um... I don't know. It's not my cup of tea, but maybe it's yours. Next, we got Keto. Now, Keto is different for every race. They have different things, so I can't really talk much on... I can't talk much on Soul Reaper Keto. I, I don't think... I think Soul Reaper Keto is the worst out of the three Ketos. In my opinion, it goes Soul Reaper, Quincy, or Ronkar Keto. Ronkar Keto has always been, like, the best Keto. Um, Quincy Keto it has gotten a bit better. But Keto is going to be your your Hado, uh, you know, casting, Bakudo casting, those things from Bleach. Incantations, pretty much, forming your spiritual energy into attacks. So they're not actually like sword attacks or anything like that. They're attacks made from your own spiritual energy. So I'm pretty sure they take the most Ryatsu out of any uh, actual skill tree. But um, Aronkar Keto is always going to be the best Keto, in my opinion. Moves like Ball Drive are pretty good. Ball of Gum is just... I, I think... No, actually, Ball of Gum's bad. I think it's Sarah Sweep. I, I think Sarah Sweep is one of the... Like, it's crazy good. Ball of Blackout. Sarah Scourge. It's like a really annoying skill tree to fight because they pretty much just run and spam. Quincy Keto is also good. It's really run and spam. There's not much I can say on the skill tree since I barely use it. But yeah, it's like your long-range incantation like... Uh, skill tree pretty much it would be it's like going magic in a game of, rather than sword now medic there's not much i have to say about medic you have healing moves you have shield moves you have like a couple damage moves but it's uh it's it's just medic <laughs> the last three we have is speed which is my favorite skill tree and a lot of people's favorite skill tree speed is like the most OD skill tree you could like talk about. I, I feel like a lot of people just hate on speed. Validly though, it's probably it's in my opinion the best best tree. A lot of the moves are blockable and parryable, but also if you just combo them well, they're unpredictable. Speed, of course, is speed. You have moves that you know rely on the movement of your character to perform. You have to get up close and personal a lot of the time. But there's also mo moves like Ghost Cleave, which is a skill box. And Spectre Step. Let me actually go get a mission real quick. So, there's gonna be moves like Ghost Cleave, which is a TP pretty much. This is a skill box move. You can actually fake the slash. I'm on a laggy ass server. You have Spectre Step, which is a TP move. And then there's also um, Blooming Cut, which is a TP move. But a lot of these uh, moves are really based on like like your actual character movement speed. Holy shit, the server's laggy. So moves like Floating Strike, which will send your enemy up into the air if you land it. Waterfall Dance, which is pretty much Melania's move. Dropping Fang, Fast Fang, Flash Fang, which is a skill box. Ghost Cleave is a skill box. So all these moves are really, really good. They're easy to combo. They're like probably the easiest to learn the combos with. It's kind of just spam at the end of the day. Time Cut, really good move, even though you can parry it easily. If you use speed the correct way, you can pretty much mess up any of your enemy's moves. Moves like Spectre Step are the most annoying thing in the world, or maybe even Waterfall Dance, because it, it allows you to just mess up people's abilities. You can, you can cancel them really easily. So yeah, speed in my opinion is the best tree. Um, I feel like Flash Fang isn't also the best skill box. I feel like if you got Strata Strike and Ghost Cleave, that's probably the best skill box moves, but yeah. So me personally, I'd rate... I don't want to like change your mind to make you go a different skill tree, but I'd reach uh, speed the best, Kendo second best, and then I think Keto and Hakuda are kind of tied because they kind of counter each other, or at least Keto kind of counters Hakuda in a way, in the fact that you just run and spam. But Hakuda, if you also land a Hakuda combo on a Keto user, they don't really have a move that can make them like like they can easily just get out of your combo. But yeah, that's all I have to say about the uh, trees. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like subscribe. Any opinions, leave them down in the comment section below. I actually advise you guys to go look in the comments because I don't know if anything or everything I said is right. You always want to get uh, opinions from the other people. So uh, make sure to go peep the comments and uh, see you in the next video. Peace.